Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with my girl Queen. She over here cooking for the champ. <laughs> Over here. Right, we cooking. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? I'm on shell duty, okay? Yes. Hold on, get get can you get this and show them how I do the shell? First you take it and then you drop it in there. You know I gotta make this a little hotter, hold on. This, this is a fail, hold on. It's getting there. I just put the oil the more oil in it. Oh yeah, we put more oil. This one, this one, this one mm -hmm. is that. Yeah, that one's that. Mm. Okay, and then it's all about really the flip of the the flick it up, not the wrist, but the tortilla, okay? Look at that, hold it over. Don't let it touch, look at that. Get you a champ, get you a champ. That's what I'm saying. All right, y'all, we're gonna talk to you about something very important about being submissive to your man. And I know a lot of fellas out there are watching, so we want your opinions, all right? So stay tuned. As soon as these tacos are ready, we are gonna dive in that conversation. So you guys, we're about to do ta um. All right, you guys, tacos are done. Let's show the finished product. Shout out to me for these shells and her for that meat. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to lose my taco now. Before we get started on this talking over tacos, just a little update. We are in Queen's house. We're sitting on the floor because she just moved in, y'all. Shout out to her. Got her own new place on her own, doing it big. And she don't need no man. Okay, but she is taking applications. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what about return? Slide in the video. Right, slide in her cash app for the application. Um, <laughs> but listen, you guys, we she's getting ready to get some furniture, so make sure you stay tuned if you want to see how we decorate her house. And then if you saw my video today, we went to this one furniture store, and I already found a bunch of stuff, so I'm about to redecorate my house. So stay tuned for that project. Yes, please. So. Welcome to Talking Over Tacos. This is our first one ever. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna talk to you about something really important, you guys. And that is the issue of submission, okay? A lot of people have a different definition of it. Do you, what do you think submission is? <laughs> to a man. We're talking about women being submissive in a relationship and their marriage and whatever. Dang. See, because I feel like I don't mind being submissive to a certain degree, but like all in all, what submissive means is just really at the will of the man. Right, giving them control to lead, right? That's what my man told me this morning. I, I, I had to ask, I was like, listen. So, let me just pull up a meme. Let me just pull up a meme. Um, one of the memes that I read today was, not that, that's the video. Honestly, a lot of women feel this way. We have no problem with being submissive to a man who is worth submitting to. The issue is a lot of men lack competency to lead. You don't get things handled. You don't make her feel secure. Why would you submit to you? Now I kinda, I don't think everybody's worth submitting to you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so many of course times. not. Just like the meme said, I, the, I saw no lie, nothing wrong with what she just read from that meme. Like, so, so for me, I consider myself an alpha female. I mm -hmm. think I am. Mm -hmm. I have a very strong personality. I'm very strong willed, you know. But I'm also. I also wouldn't mind being submissive. I actually more so want to be led by a man, but the problem is not every man is worth following, you know, letting you lead. And that has been the thing. I literally just said this recently to somebody. So the meme speaks for what my truth is as well. Exactly. I have been in relationships before like where my boyfriend's like, you are not submissive at all. And I'm like, yo, why would I submit to you? You is leading me into Something I don't want to be in. Like you just it's a, a mess. No offense. If you're if you're watching this and you know who you are. Offense. Offense. You need to learn, buddy. You do need to learn, sir. So I'll be looking at your little status now on Facebook and I'll be like, still haven't learned. But um Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. <laughs> but anyways, so I it was crazy because I talked to my man this morning about it and I was like, 
I was like, well, am I submissive? Like, do you think I do? And he was like, for the most part, he says a couple things I gotta work on, okay. He made those points and I thought about them. Maybe I do need to work on them and I will. But I just think that if you want a woman to be submissive and gentlemen, comment below and let me know. You really gotta be making us feel secure. Like if, if we don't feel like you gonna get it done, if we don't feel like we're gonna be okay, you know what I'm saying? How, why, why would we just listen to what you say? Don't make sense to me. I'm not gonna listen to somebody that I don't feel is gonna take care of me, make sure we get to the place that we both wanna go, you know, our lives to be in the order we both want to be in the order of, mm -hmm. you know, and if you don't trust the man's judgment or his way of thinking or his competency, as mm -hmm. it was said in the mean, you know, why, why would you follow his lead? Why would you? But then again, it's like, then why are we with him? Right. I guess it even goes back to that. So. So maybe if you don't want to be submissive to a man, and he's not the man you need to be with. Maybe. Because I like the idea of being led by a man. A I man think most women. I don't think I've met a woman who doesn't. I think I've met more women who don't want to be led by particular men. They haven't met the man they want to be led by. I think that's mm -hmm. what it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't, this is, this is where I think people get misconstrued about being submissive. I don't think that being submissive means being bossed around. Mm -hmm. It means trusting in the man, having faith in him and letting him lead you, not control you. Mm -hmm. Completely different completely different but i think that goes in line with <coughs> having the person that you believe is worth being led by you're not like some people are good leaders and some people are not somebody who's just controlling yeah that's not a good leader right you know you you need somebody that's going to lead you in the right way and if you're being led by someone you're not you don't necessarily feel like you're beneath them no you just feel like you're trusting them. So if I feel like I'm, if in trusting you, I gotta feel like I'm beneath you, then I don't wanna do it. That's a good point. That's you know what I'm saying? But in, um, you know what I'm saying? As long as I feel like I'm still an equal and I can just trust you to make the decision and to show us the way, then cool. You still have a voice if you're being submissive. You still have control if you're being submissive. Submission is a choice. Unless it's not a choice, then it's not submission. <laughs> It's something else, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's something else. Have oh. you ever had a situation where you had to be, or like someone was telling you oh. to be submissive and you were like, look, look, sir. Not for no. you. Never? No, ain't for me. I think my personality is too strong for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I, I hope my ideal situation is with somebody that I just trust and it makes me feel secure and because I don't like making a lot of decisions or being the one in complete control. You know, I don't want to be able to step into a situation and follow follow suit sometimes, yeah. you know? Absolutely. But I also want to know that the person who I'm following has good Intention. Good intentions. Judgment. That's a good point too. It's yeah. not going to just risk everything and have, you know what I'm saying? There's certain things to risk and there's certain things not to. Right. Yeah. Don't risk my happiness. Oh. Yeah, somebody's going to get me to the promised land of a happy life. <laughs> right, a happy life. Okay. And we're going to so, stay there. Not just get there and then check it out and, oh, this was cool. And then go, no, we're going to get there and stay there. A happy life Because some of y'all are submissive to the wrong man. And y'all out here living miserable, only going towards miserable. Sis, get off the bus. Yeah, that's not the, I don't think that's the right way to live in submission of a man. I don't think there's anything wrong with submitting to a man because if he's a good man, he's worth it. You know, I believe in gender roles. I do too. But, but listen, sir. Go ahead. Out there. Mm -hmm. If you want a, a woman to be submissive, Make sure you're doing the right things to be submitted to. Like, honestly, honestly. Because, like, a lot of these men, oh, I want to be the, do this, this, this. But you're not taking care of A, B, C, and D. Your woman the breadwinner. Yeah. But you <laughs> listen, listen now. If your woman is the breadwinner, you do not, you, can, you don't deserve for her to be submissive. Unless you're a stay-at-home dad. <laughs> but even then, if your woman's the breadwinner, 
Go ahead, Queen. Say something. I don't, don't think I said what I said. <laughs> she don't think I said what I said. No need to elaborate. So if your woman's the breadwinner, winner, like that would be hard. That would be hard to have a situation in which the woman would be submissive. Right. If you out here cheating on her, if if she doesn't feel safe with you, that's right. Why would? You? Okay. If you lie, if you lie, mislead, mislead. Yeah, if you mislead and stuff, and like, just because we're being submissive to you doesn't mean we don't have the right to know what's going on. If you're abusive, if you're any abusive kind of way, in any, any kind of way, you don't deserve to be submitted to. That's right. Something. If you're if you're not committing to us, also like if you're cheating or if you just, you know what I'm saying? If you're not committing, we're not submitting. Period. I like what she just did there. Mm. I like what you just did there. So, um, what what? This is what I want to ask. What would you suggest to a guy who's having trouble getting his woman to submit? I would say go over the checklist that we just provided for you. <laughs> Are you providing X, Y, and Z? If you feel like you're doing everything in your power to provide her with security, a good life, you know, I just said, even if it works for y'all, like a woman being a breadwinner in a, in a relationship, even if that works for y'all, that's fine, but it would be difficult to then try to take you the, seriously. I didn't say that. <laughs> but it would be difficult for then to have the woman be submissive to you. It just is reality. It doesn't mean it can't be done, maybe, for some women. I don't know, but it would just be difficult. So see if you, you know, you checking off all the boxes. And if you're not, oh, also, and if you're trying to strong arm the situation, that's probably why. Right. <laughs> like, you can't strong arm her into it. You have to make sure she feels comfortable. Listen, if we're comfortable, we're just gonna trust anyway. We're gonna let you leave. If you sit here forcing us to do it, that's not it. Know. That's something else. That's something no, because because all that does is scare us and like makes us think of like a, we're gonna have a really unhappy, miserable, controlled life, and nobody wants that. No. Nobody wants to be unhappy, miserable, or controlled. No understand submission is a choice like she said and when you get it by choice then that could be a beautiful situation mm -hmm. and that's what true submission is the, if it's not that it's something else mm -hmm. <laughs> it's something submission else. is not forced I, I remember one time i was dating this guy who would even Like I remember at some point he'd be like, "Are you my property?" And I was like, "Yo, prop." It was the, it was a, it was literally was, you know what I'm saying? It was a scary. I'm, but I'm looking like, "Yo, if that's what you say when you're intimate. That's some scary." And I like stop messing with him after that. Like, why would you ever, you know what I'm saying? And he used to yeah. just try to control what I eat. Oh no. Like my man now suggests. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He knows why I have a goal. And you know but his this intention guy, is because he cares about you. Right. But this yeah. guy was just like. I was on a diet and he wanted to have a Thanksgiving and like I had to go out of town right after that. Right after that. I was going to Jamaica. I'm trying to look super cute. And he just like literally forced me to eat some mac and cheese. And oh. this, like I was like pissed. Like 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 he was like it was it was like gonna be the end of the world, we're gonna be over if I didn't do it. And I'm just like, yo, this is like you can't force me to do this. Mm -hmm. And then one time we was going to the movies, he was like, Listen, you, um, I know you're hungry. Why don't you just get this uh five guys? I don't want no five guys burger. I would rather, like, if I'm going to break my diet, once again, same guy, same thing, trying to make me break my diet, control, control me, control how my body looks, yeah. like, like, over something I didn't want, like, and just, like, would get, like, a huge attitude over it, like, it was just, like, it Even was, if, understand me, for one, I'm sorry you had to go through that, champ, and, mm -hmm. and that's unfortunate. For anybody that's going through something like that, please know that it's within your power to get out it still is a choice like you still have that power in that choice no matter how that person makes you feel how that situation makes you feel you do have it yeah but it, it, it her even if she did it even if she submitted to eating that mac and cheese even if she submitted to you know what was the five guys eating five guys like that's not true submission from a woman like that's bullying that's strong arming that's, that's strong arming that's, that's forcing forcing that's that's not the same thing. That's not it. <laughs> and one more about that same person. And it's not that I am um, dwelling on it or anything, guys. I just want you guys to hear this because maybe you're doing it. Mm -hmm. And maybe you don't mean to be doing it. And it's your story. Mm -hmm. That's your story regardless. It's the truth. And I'm, it was one time, multiple times, I would be hungry. 
in the morning or something he'd be like well just wait and like the thing about me y'all don't know i get sick when i don't eat mm -hmm. like literally i get dizzy i be feeling like i'm gonna throw yeah. up like i get sweaty like i feel like i'm really gonna pass out if i'm hungry for over an hour mm -hmm. i'll be having a problem and he'd be like well just one more thing let's just stop at this real quick car wash let's do this and i was like yo you literally care about just yourself mm -hmm. and, and if i complain about it i'm i have a bad attitude so you guys gotta really understand that someone who <clears throat> When you're leading someone, you're not just leading them with only your best interest. You gotta lead with their best interest as well. Mm -hmm. I think that's my point. Submission is not forced. Women are not property. We are loyal. Big difference. We're not owned, we're loyal. Okay? We can leave. That's Mention. right. That's right. So fellas, listen. We're done with these tacos. Talking over tacos is over. Please comment below, let me know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was good, right? That was good. Comment below. Let us know what y'all think about submission. Um, on our next Talking Over Tacos, we, um, you know what I'm saying? We might, we might answer some of your questions, address some of what you said, and then we'll talk about the next topic. That's a good point. If you have any questions for us or topics that you want us to discuss while we eat our tacos, <laughs> you know, comment that and we'll pick something. Right, we'll pick some. <laughs> Alright, y'all, thank you for watching this. Make sure you subscribe to my girl Queen's channel in the description box. You already know. And <laughs> subscribe to mine if you're not. What are you waiting for? And add us on IG. Same name, Queen's Don't Show for me. Okay. SoundCloud, uh, Snapchat. <laughs> Watch Danielle. She said everything. Link Twitter. Her. Twitter. Okay. Link with chill. Cash app if you're feeling generous. <laughs> um, I, I got a cash app. Too. What's your cash app? <laughs> it's the same. I make it easy. We make it easy. Okay, we make it really, really easy. Um, um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for adding to the tacos. You know, I you really know what time it is. That was good. And we'll see y'all next time.